I am Vaishnavi Gandikota from the University of Zegan and I am going to present our work on evaluating adversarial robustness of low dose computer tomography recovery. Computer tomography involves recording attenuated X-ray radiation projected from different angles around a target. The recorded measurements are then arranged into a sinogram from which a CT image is to be reconstructed. As X-ray exposure poses serious health risks, reducing the radiation dose is desirable. This can be done by reduced power settings to reduce the total number of X-ray photons or by recording measurements from fewer projection angles, that is, sparse view CT. Yet, low dose de- reconstruction is affected by increased noise level in the low power setting and severe ill posedness under sparse view measurements. This means there can be many valid solutions for the same measurement. A standard approach for CT reconstruction is filtered back projection, which involves linear filtering in Fourier space. Variational approaches find a minimizer of an energy which has a data consistency term and a su- suitable regularization such as TV regularizer. Recently, many works also adopt different deep networks for CT reconstruction ranging from fully learned networks to model-inspired architectures. In this work, we analyze the stability of diff- different classical and deep learning methods to CT recovery. We first consider untargeted tags. Here, the aim is to find an additive per- non-constraint perturbation in the measurement domain that maximizes the reconstruction error. We also consider an input agnostic version of this attack to maximize the reconstruction error for any input by optimizing over several examples which eat the so-called universal perturbations. We further evaluate the robustness to localized attacks which seek to change the appearance in a local clinically relevant region. Our localized attack utilizes a adversarially trained classifier G5 trained on chest CT nodules to guide the attack towards a plausible change in visual appearance in GC which is the localized region of interest by modifying the malignancy Y predicted by the robust class wire. Using a non-robust class wire in the attack can cause misclassifications even without perceptible changes in reconstructions and hence needs to be avoided. To ensure that the degradation remains localized and to avoid boundary artifacts in the localized region, we applied a smooth Gaussian mask to adversarial noise. We evaluate robustness of two classical approaches, filtered back projection and total variation regularization and different deep network approaches in, including a post-processor network using unit which denoises filter back projection outputs, iRadon map which also learns the back pro- projection in addition to the pre-processing step, model inspired architectures, learned gradient descent and learned primal dual which enroll fixed steps of optimization algorithms with learnable components. We can see that all these CT recovery methods are susceptible to untargeted attacks. Further, they are also susceptible to localized attacks. The patches here in the third row depict the reconstructions of the clinically relevant regions. We can see that these indeed get modified under attack. The adversarial noise that produces such localized changes is also extremely low and these resulting reconstructions still maintain a very high data consistency with the original sinogram. Such attacks can be used to find diagnostically different yet data consistent solutions. Further, we also found that adversarial attacks including universal perturbations are feasible and even transferable across different recovery methods. We do observe a significant drop in reconstruction quality using even using ad, perturbations from a different method. In summary, we evaluated robustness of CT recovery to different types of attacks. We showed utility of localized attacks to deal with ill-posedness. Our universal attacks and transferability results demonstrate the feasibility of black box attacks on CT recovery. Thank you for your attention.